Hello again, friends. I'm so grateful that God hasn't left us hanging on our own to muddle through tough times. We often pray for ourselves, but today let's pray for those who are sick. So many of us have benefited from the prayers of others when we were ill, so let's pay it forward and pray for these many who are suffering. We pray in faith because God's word tells us, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Heavenly Father, we come to you today because we know you care about the sick more than any of us do whether they are dearly loved relatives and friends of ours or people we don't know who are loved by others, we come to you today asking for healing on their behalf. We remember the leper who came to you, Jesus, telling you, you have the power to heal me right now if only you really want to. And your immediate response, filled with compassion, was to reach out and touch him and say, of course I want you to be healed, so now be cleansed. So here we are today, asking for your mercy on those who are sick. We ask that you would bless and minister to each one so they're restored to health and body and mind. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing to vital organs. We bless lungs to be cleared of infections and oxygen levels to increase. We pray for immune systems to fight off this virus and for strength to return to tired bodies. We pray for those who are sick and suffering in long-term care facilities. We pray for children who are ill with the virus. They're like little lambs and we ask you to carry them today close to your heart. Relieve their pain. Guard them from fear and danger. Watch over them, bless them, so they can quickly be restored to perfect health. We also ask God that you would comfort each one who's ill and suffering with a sense of your goodness. Encourage them, give them patience as you work healing and restoration in them. We pray that not only their bodies, but their whole being will be restored to right relationship with you that they will live the rest of their lives in honor of you and in service of your kingdom purposes. We bring all these needs before you, our loving Father, trusting you to help us in our time of need. Amen. Well, I'm sure you have individuals in your life that you'd like to name one by one before God. Why don't you take just a minute and do that? He loves them. He wants to heal them. Let's pray for them today.